Hi, this is Doug Bright, Nash Community College. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to modify a built-in block to save yourself a lot of time with cleanup. So I'm using the palette on the architectural palette, putting in the dynamic block in place using the alignment grip. Select the block, right click, and choose block editor. Next, we're going to draw a rectangle just a plain rectangle from the origin to the end point of the jam. Next, we're going to convert that to a wipeout. So I don't know whether that's on here or not. Probably not. So let's just type wipeout. Use the polyline option and use the yes keyword to erase the polyline. Select the wipeout and change the drawing order to send it to back. In the block editor ribbon tab, make sure that the visibility mode shows all of the options. Use BV show to select the wipeout and make it make sure it shows in all of the different formats. Next we're going to isolate the wipeout just briefly and let's stretch the frame slightly from where it should go maybe just a little bit up and a little bit down to make sure it's going to hide the entire line work that represents the walls. Now we're going to unisolate, so just isolate and object isolation. Choose the stretch grip and we're going to modify the selection. Use the window here and then crossing window here. Remove the arc. from the stretch action. And then over here, we're going to modify this. Make sure the wipeout stretches. Select the wall thickness. Choose the little button at the end here in the properties palette and add four and a half or 4.5. Close the block editor, save the changes. Notice that right now we've got something that shows up. We'll change the wipeout a little bit. Set the frame to two. Preview and the door shows with the line work not trimmed or trimmed. So I could move this door. I don't need to stretch the door. I could delete the door. So if I delete the door, the wall line work is still there. So you don't have to do any trimming as long as you add wipeouts. Now, the downside to this is you have to have a printer that can print the object or print the plot as an image. Uh, and in Rare cases, the wipeouts will plot black, but these can usually be adjusted out. So I highly recommend using wipeouts to save tons of time. 